All right, so I just got the tires. Found both the MT-21 and the D-606. And I'm gonna have a crack at putting these on. Again, we're leaving tomorrow. So uh, if, you, if you've done tires before, you probably know it's probably no big deal for you. I've never done tires. I've never actually even removed the tires from this bike. So, or the wheels, I should say. So anyway, um, this is not an instructional. Do not follow me. Do not take any instruction from me. Have a laugh if I get, not if, when I get to some spots where I screw some stuff up, I'll put, I'll show you guys. Otherwise, I'm just putting it in there for a bit of, you know, um, to share my experience. So anyway, <laughs> definitely do not do anything I do. Not that you'd be doing anyway, but uh, I can just see somebody getting on there and being like, wow, I followed you and I, I stripped all my threads on my axle bolts, whatever. Anyway, um, my axle nut holders. Stripping my axle nut holders, trying to get hard on your show. Yeah, anyway. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna plug this in and let's have a crack and see what happens. I'd like to get both these done today, but I got jujitsu tonight, so. Uh, that may not happen. Maybe I can get one done. Hopefully, fingers crossed. All right, let's give it a crack. I actually don't even know how to stand uh, to get this bike on a on a on a block. Like, how am I supposed to do that? How, what am I supposed to do to get that up? How does that work? I just lift it on the thing. I, think I need some more bricks. Hey, how do you change a tire? Well, first, try to get the bike off the fucking ground. That looks really safe. Everything's going really well so far. I'm an hour into it. Tire off. Okay, that's not so bad. I've got absolutely no idea what the fuck is going on here. Why does it not? I think I'm like destroying the fucking tire too. What do I do with this? What do I do with this thing? What am I supposed to do with that?
is supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to be a heavy duty tube. Oh, this fucking bead buddy is stuck in here. I don't think I was supposed to use the bead buddy. <sighs> I went down, down the road, by my half a seat. I went down the road, by my half a seat. I got it. I finally had to get the air compressor and attach the air compressor. I put it up to, man, I don't know, like 80 PSI or something. I didn't actually hear a pop, but if I look at the bead, um, it looks like I'm just looking at that little black line right here. That little black line actually has popped out all the way around. Um, so I think it's cool. Same on this side. I didn't, um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't see, yeah. I don't know, it's not like perfectly even, but um, seems all right. I mean, maybe what I'll need to do is um, just take it down to, uh, like I'll put this tire back on. I wanna do the rear tire and then just take it for a quick spin. Some of the guys, I looked on the forum, some of the guys said, um, take it for a quick ride and, you know, like five minutes down to the servo and um, deflate it and then reflate it again and you might find, um, yeah, that it pops. But I think, I think it actually is, I think it's popped. Um, I think. <laughs> anyway. So, all right, I'm gonna put this thing back on and um, that one's done. I think this has taken me, well, I'm not done yet. Uh, I don't want to quote times yet because I'm not finished, but I think, I'm, I think I'm about two hours into it. Anyway, I mean, the first one's always the worst, right? That's when you learn how to do it. So the only issue is the back and yeah, I've got to go to jujitsu pretty soon. So I might have to Maybe I'll see if I can get the tire off today and then I'll do, I'll act, sorry, uh, r remove the tire from the bike, remove the wheel from the bike today and then I'll have to do the changing of the tire tomorrow, I think, <sighs> which is not ideal, but whatever, you know, is what it is. And I guess that's the other part of it is um, I was trying to use this little pump right here, but obviously when I'm in the bush, I'm not going to have that, so... Yeah, well, that's going to be interesting. Because um, part of this exercise was about seeing, number one, if I had all the tools, which I do have the tools. Clearly, I was able to do it with everything I've got. But um, the air compressor, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, and it, went, it goes, it goes, oh, I got to tighten this up. It goes past, which way is tight? It goes past 50, but... Um, yeah. What's going on with this thing? This little rim rim lock or whatever. How tight's that supposed to be? Well, I'll just snug it. All right, put that on. Put that on. And then there's a little arrow on here that says which direction the bike is supposed to go. And uh Hopefully I got that right. Okay, now, um, I did take off this little, oh, I got to put some grease on here, don't I? I've got some grease. I did take off this little piece here, and uh, I don't remember where that goes, so 
Maybe, is it this side? Yeah, it's that side. I guess it's there, I guess. So I got a little bit of grease, uh, high, high temperature bearing grease. I don't know if that's the same as actual grease, but um, um, I'm putting it on there. I thought I had a rag, but maybe I don't. So yeah, cool. I think that's seated. All right, first one done. There it is, MT21 installed. There's the, other one. There's the uh, hide now K60. <sighs> Part one done, although I haven't taken it for a test drive, but whatever. Um, I gotta go change and head to Jiu Jitsu. I'm not gonna have time to do that back tire, so I'll have to do that tomorrow. Ugh. Hopefully, well, actually, the problem with the back is that uh, the back is supposed to be harder, isn't it? So I guess that's what I'll be doing from uh, first thing in the morning. Anyway, whatever it is what it is. Got to get it done. All right, I'm gonna get cleaned up and uh, and get out of here. Oh, I got to clean my air filter. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna get cleaned up and get out of here. And tomorrow starts the um, the kickoff. So anyway, 